Hey, thanks everybody for joining us today. Live Music Nation podcast, festival and event edition. Today we're meeting with Blair Lawton. He's with the Animus Chamber of Commerce. They host a number of events throughout the year, including Pumpkin Fest. But uh, Blair, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me, Jake. I appreciate it. Blair, give us a little background on you. Where'd you grow up? Talk a little bit about your family and your career. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I am an Iowa native. I grew up pretty far, as far northwest Iowa as you can go, a little town uh, in Wood, about 800 people. Uh, met my wife while I was working on uh, the Obama re-election campaign. Um, she's actually originally from Animo, so that's what brought us back. So we've been here for about um, three years now. We've got two young daughters. Once they started getting a little bigger, we wanted to be, you know, come back here, be a little closer to grandma and grandpa. Um, and then had pretty much done, you know, kind of political organizing the last 10 years or so and, you know, had been looking for ways to kind of get involved in the community here. Um, saw this opportunity come up uh, last year, so really saw this as, you know, not only a unique challenge working with the chamber, but also as a way to, um, you know, meet more people in the community, give back to the community, really try to, to build Animosa as well. So really excited, really liking what I'm doing so far. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. All right, let's jump into uh, the Chamber of Commerce and some of the events you hold. Let's 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 go to this Pumpkin Fest because um, it, it sounds incredible. Um, so I always ask these three questions: What do people when they when they come to this event? What are they going to see? What are they going to smell? What are they going to hear? Smell meaning food, and hear just environment. Is there music? Is there stuff going on? Describe that for us. Absolutely. So they're going to see a lot of great stuff. This will be our, our 35th year of doing this. Um, it's always the first Saturday in October. So this year will be October 7th. Definitely a lot of great things to see. Um, so Saturday morning is where we actually have the Ryan Norland giant pumpkin way off. So in the past, including last year, we had state records set for largest pumpkin. Awesome. Um, that is always a, you know, really a, a good opportunity. We have folks come from a lot of different area states. So that's always one of the biggest hits. Folks can go down to the community center that morning, see the way off. And then, you know, we've got pumpkins on display there. Eventually those pumpkins will be paraded around town in our parade in the afternoon as well so how much do you know about a, how much do you know about growing giant pumpkins i'm just sidetracking real quick is like is there genetically engineered seeds that grow these pumpkins that grow so large or is it more a matter of cultivation and fertilization do you know any what give us give our listener a little idea yeah absolutely i'm certainly no no expert at all but i believe it's a, a combination of both Okay. Okay. Perfect. All right. All right. So we've got the pumpkin way in. I cut you off. Go ahead. I'm so sorry. No worries. So that's, you know, really one half of the celebration. And then we've got the pumpkin fest celebration, which um, a lot of that happens on main street. So we've got uh, food vendors. So I'll talk about but a bit more than a second of some of those great smells you can actually see. So we've got food and 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 craft vendors on Main Street. We have a, a 5K run in the morning. There's a parade in the afternoon. Uh, there's a lot of kids games that take place on Main Street as well. It's really, you know, fun and opportunities for the full family. Um, so that's really what Saturday looks like. Um, in addition to that, we also have things like, you know, a, a barbecue contest. So there's definitely some great uh, smells there. There's a car show. Uh, the activities officially kick off on Thursday, October 5th with a, a pumpkin roll. So uh, folks can purchase a little pumpkin and we'll, we'll race them downhill at our biggest hill in town. So that's always a lot of fun as well. And then on that Sunday, it, it closes off with a um, tractor pull and a golf tournament. So really a lot of great stuff. Um, as far as the smells, um, you know, we had a lot of great uh, food vendors last year. So those were a range of things. And we had um, barbecue and pizzas and, and all kinds of stuff. So um, really, it's a good opportunity for, for local food trucks to come to town and, and really, you know, be there to greet all the folks. Um, you know, last year, I think we were really blessed by having kind of the ideal weather for this. So it was really packed. A, little, a lot of opportunities for folks to come to town check out some great things, but also have some great food as well. I have to go to this event. You got a pumpkin roll. You got the pumpkin weigh in. My favorite bread in the world is pumpkin bread. I'm sure I can get that. And then you got all the coffees. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. And then you have a golf tournament to top it off. Yep. You go through all kinds that. of stuff. Blair, what are, what's the biggest reason that the Chamber of Commerce hosts this event? Well, it really originally started with uh, the Norlin family in 1989. They had put together the the way off to honor their son, Ryan, who had tragically lost his life in a boating accident. Um, and then in 1990 is where the, the chamber actually came on board and put this celebration together, which a lot of that happens on, on Main Street. Um, 
Um, so a lot of good things with that. Um, I think this year will be particularly fun with the theming. So this will be the 30th anniversary of the Iowa State Legislature officially naming Anamosa the pumpkin capital of Iowa. So I think we'll have a lot of good um, theming stuff with that. I know I'm particularly excited about the parade. Generally, that's kind of our goal with the parade. You know, we see a lot of businesses and organizations try to tie their floats um, into that theme. So I'm interested to see what uh, kind of comes out with the pumpkin capital of Iowa with that. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, let's touch base on a couple other events throughout the uh, summer and early fall that you'd like to touch on. Yeah, so, um, you know, when I came on last summer, I think that was one of my goals, but also the board as well, trying to put together more just fun family events here in the community. So we've got some some good stuff coming up in a, in a couple weeks. We're actually having our first chamber trivia night. We're going to have it at a local uh, Mexican restaurant here in town. Uh, we've got a couple of, of golf tournaments. We've got two great uh, country clubs here in Anamosa, so we'll be doing a couple of those this summer. Uh, for the first time ever, uh, this old one I'm pretty excited for, June 24th, our chamber is going to be hosting a, a car show at our local community center. So that will be, I think, a, a fun addition. You know, we've always had a car show with Pumpkin Fest, but hopefully this will be a, another way to kind of promote what's going to be happening in October as well. Um, and then the holidays are always fun as well. Um, we always do a little kid spook parade and treats on the street for Halloween. <laughs> Uh, we've got a, a reindeer run 5K that'll be coming up on Small Business Saturday. And then also that evening, folks have opportunities to do things like carriage rides, meet Santa, um, and participate in our Parade of Lights parade that we'll have as well. So I've really been trying to put some some type of good community event together um, every month for this year. Yeah, that's fantastic. And so your your Chamber of Commerce not only is is focused on its its membership and its businesses and building those relationships and their businesses, but really involving the community and bringing in some tourism, um, which is really what, what we hope to accomplish for, uh, for cities and towns with, with this podcast as it goes through there. Um, all right, Blake, two fun questions that I always like to ask at every interview because I am in live music and live interview. I always ask these questions. The first is, Blair, what is the best concert you've ever seen your entire life? That is a great question. Um, I think I'll give a shout out to my wife, uh, Becky, who's a huge uh, Dirk Bentley fan. So All I think right. I've probably been to more Dirk Bentley concerts than any other artist I can think that's, of. So he always puts on a good show. Spectacular. Okay, you could bring one musical artist or act to Animos, Dead or Alive, who would you bring? Ooh, that is a tough one. Yeah. Ooh. Wasn't prepared for that uh, hard-hitting question there. Um, I would say growing up, I definitely was really into, uh, like, Disturbed and Godsmack. I've never seen either of them live, so we could get them to Animo, so that would be quite the treat. That would that would bring in the people for your businesses. They would have their best Saturday ever, for sure. Yeah, very good. How do people find out more information, Blair, about what's going on there? Yeah, absolutely. So they can definitely always uh, check us out online. We're just at animosachamber.org. Um, and then we also do have a separate Pumpkin Fest site if folks are interested in learning more about that. That can be found at animosapumpkinfest.com. Okay, very good. Thanks for joining us today, Blair. I appreciate it. Yep, thanks, Jake. You have a good one. Well, baby, I'm on with a